What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you my first impressions of Mutant Year Zero, Road to Eden. So I often review games, and I specifically review them after 100% typically, and when I start playing games that I have never played before, I like to give a first impressions video, which is what this is. Now I have never played Mutant Year Zero at all, however, I had actually been watching it since before its release, I had just never gotten around to actually playing it because I was busy with other games and things, but it was fun. Finally the time. So Mutant Year Zero is a tactical RPG, which is important, especially because I personally was expecting a little more choice than there actually turned out to be, but nonetheless, I am having fun. Now, Mutant Year Zero, of course, takes place in a post-apocalypse in which most of humanity was wiped out due to a plague which is one of the three standard reasons for the post-apocalypse. Now, you play as a couple of mutants, though later on you do get to add other people to your squad, your squad being up to three people who you can take into the zone, or otherwise the world. And there is a bit of an intriguing story going on in the background, but most of what you'll be doing is engaging in combat encounters or finding ways around set encounters, that type of thing. But it's an interesting blend of mechanics because there's a lot of stuff you can find and when you're in town there's people who can tell you about the world itself and there's sort of this mystery going on, which is kind of the story more or less, about some different things that are happening and the specifics of what happened to the world before. But I will say compared to a great many games I have played, and this is probably my biggest takeaway from this particular game, is that the progression and the combat itself is fairly simple for a tactical RPG. Now that's not to say it's not fun, it's just a little more straightforward than I would have initially guessed. So each character you get has a mutation tree which allows them to learn different abilities. They can have three abilities active at any given time, but each of those abilities has to be an active, a minor, and a passive, so you can kind of interchange those. You can get weapons, gear, and upgrade them accordingly. But the thing about combat in this game is that you can't rush in guns blazing, because it's just not going to work for you. What you're kind of expected to do is use the silent weapons, like silenced pistols, crossbows, that type of thing, to pick off loner enemies that are kind of on the outside of the main group who kind of walk off to look around. You're expected to kill those people silently, and then engage with like maybe two or three of the enemies that are left in the group at the end. And while I personally do find that fun, I can see how it would get repetitive and arguably a little counterintuitive to the tactical RPG nature of the game. But in spite of that, the game so far has honestly been pretty fun. I've been enjoying it, there's a lot of cool stuff going on, I'm enjoying learning about things as I progress through this world, and despite it being a tactical RPG, there's quite a bit of world building going on, which I personally appreciate. So without rambling on too terribly long, my first impressions are this. While the game isn't exactly what I was expecting, because to be fair I've been trying to avoid hearing about it too much because I want to form my own opinions for reviews and things, it is, nonetheless, pretty fun in spite of that. So there you go guys, my first impressions for Mutant Year Zero after playing for the first time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.